What's up, my beautiful divine feminine? My beautiful niece. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus. Where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Grand Rising. It is 7.03 a.m. Today is Monday, July the 1st. And I'm doing this reading because I want some answers myself. Now this reading, I know it's going to resonate with you, Divine Feminine. I know that. Because I know if you're Divine Feminine, that you've been experiencing the effects of some dark diabolical diabolical bitch now what we gonna do today so go on and get your blunt get your cigarettes whatever floats your boat it's too early for you to be drinking okay at 704 in the morning if you're drinking early in the morning like that somebody needs to get help but we ain't talking about that we about to talk about who is this energy? Okay, I know for a fact that somebody is trying to energetically attack me. Somebody is trying to affect my finances. And I'm, you know, I'm just so tired of whoever this energy is. I know what they're doing. But I really don't know who it is. So I'm asking my spirit guides and my ancestors to give me the message on who and what and why is this person trying to attack me. Now I I it's it's a few people in my case that could be doing this. So I'm going to name them off. Name them off. One of them could be my brother. One of them could be my ex. One of them could be one of my ex's tricks. One of my ex's hoes. Somebody he fools around with. One of them is somebody that my ex don't want. And she's trying to attack me. But all of these bitches is attacking me. They all bitches, male and female. And yeah, I said it. Because you're doing this shit behind closed doors. We First, we're going to find out why. Why are they energetically attacking me? Why are these bitches attacking Divine Feminine. A new beginning, the fool. This person, for one, they, they could be a fool for doing this. Or they are a fool. Or they're doing it because they see me starting a new beginning, a new journey. So they want to attack me. These people are, are jealous. New ideas in reverse. A thirst for knowledge in reverse. See, yeah, I am. Now, see, if it's whoever the energies are that's attacking me, I know for a fucking fact that they're attacking me because of the knowledge that I have. Okay? I'm not walking around here saying, um, you know, I'm Einstein or smart, but I do my own little research and things that I'm interested in, I get my own information. And you do too, Divine Feminine. So we're going to find out just what's going on. And this reading may trigger you. We're going we're gonna to get down deep and dirty in this reading. This
this is a, a low vibrational, diabolical, jealous ass bitch. Okay. And for, and for some of these bitches, they got way more money than me. They're, you know, from what I hear, at least one of them do, I heard, come from a, a, a wealthy family. And she's attacking me because she's supposed to have been my ex's homegirl or homeboy or whatever the fuck she is. But set for seven or eight years, this bitch has been sending energy towards me, trying to do shit. So we just gonna find out. Show me the energies. See, the five of wands in reverse. Somebody, somebody is attacking us because for one, we're a peaceful energy. Two, if this was somebody you know you was with, you ended it with them. Or if your person was with this person, your person ended it with them. And whoever this energy is, like I said, they diabolical. They're the devil. And either this is somebody I ended the relationship with or stopped talking to. Or somebody that my person, my ex-person, ended something with and stopped talking to. And whoever this person was, they, 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 you know, caused a lot of chaos and conflict. So it was an end. Okay. Show me more. The hermit energy. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see? You fucking bitch. Whoever this is. Bitch or bastard. Whatever the fuck. Somebody is trying to stop my stability. You sick bitch. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I'm tired of this shit. Stupid motherfucker. Show me this energy. Tell me about the energy that's um, energetically attacking your chosen. <coughs> Future planning. Yeah, they planning to try to take away my stability. And if this is my ex doing this shit, you's a bitch. If you're if you are doing this, or if you done got with these bitches and you doing that shit, all because I try to teach you that these motherfuckers was nothing but witches and warlocks, then you get with the motherfuckers and start talking shit, telling them things that I'm telling you to help you. Fuck you. Hermit, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. See, what they, what they want me to do, they want me, they're trying to make me so mad that I'll either want to fight them or I'll start saying, you know, wishing ill on them. I'm not you, bitch. I don't have to wish ill on you because whatever you're doing, you're going to get karma. Because everything you're doing in the mental or the physical, your action will, you will get suffer consequences of it. This is crazy. But I've been feeling this energy for a while now. And I never really spoke on it because I try to do the readings for you. But this one right here is for me and it may resonate with you. See, it's this is a Virgo energy. God damn. I, I knew it was this big head bitch. Selfish. Whoever this person is, see, I'm going to tell you, from what I feel, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, either this is someone I'm financially dependent. I don't have to depend on this fucking hermit energy. 
this Virgo. But see, he's dealing with a bunch of greedy, selfish motherfuckers. And see, they mad at me because I got this YouTube channel. They mad at me because I get paid off of YouTube. So what these bitches is doing is talking against my channel. They trying to stop all the donations. They're trying to stop people from purchasing from me, you big head, watery eye bitch. And then it's a, a four-eyed little bitch. That's a cancer. And then he got a Leo in his energy that I never met. I don't know. But she's somebody who's mad at him from him walking away ghosting her. And I guess she think he ghosted her for me. But I didn't even know you. I was trying to find out who you were because I seen a letter um, in his email what, what your son wrote to him. And I don't know who you were because when I mentioned it to him, he deleted the shit. So you out here attacking me for nothing? All of you bitches is attacking me for no reason at all. And you you're you're you have low self-esteem if you out there doing magic to make somebody want you. Or to make somebody lose some shit. You can keep doing this shit. It's going to come back to you, but it's going to be worse. Yeah. They doing this cuz it's showing that the, the Seven of Pentacles is the heart of the energy. And right on top of that, Seven of Pentacles is the hermit. So the person that I was dealing with is the hermit. Okay? I'm Scorpio, and my ex is the hermit. Okay? And we have the Ten of Cups out here. Long-term investment. Peace. And the end of conflict. So... For, for, the, for maybe he, this is a queen of pentacles. Whoever she is, she could be married. Good karma out here, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, it's like these people... Didn't want my person to make a, a investment, a long-term investment when it came to us. knowing this is showing me the main feminine energy that's doing this i'm so sick of seeing this fucking queen of pentacles in reverse yeah whoever this queen of pentacles is she's either married or in a long-term relationship with a king of wands okay and they want my stability to be gone. And see, I don't know this person, but all of my cards been showing me over time that whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she reads cards or something. And maybe she's the one who's out there giving these false readings. She's telling this masculine with his dumb ass, you know, she's giving him readings. And this could be this, this, this couple... That this masculine may be fucking with both of them. Or she fucking both of them. She fucking my ex and her person. Spreading all of this fucking demonic ass pussy. That's what the fuck she doing. And see she's trying to attack me. Because now this hermit. Then went in hermit mode on her. This bitch she you know she the reason I stopped. All of these bitches. Is the reason I stopped being on Facebook. Because they were so jealous of the things they seen me post. And like I said, some of these motherfuckers got way more than me. I was homeless. These motherfuckers just still throwing shit at me. 
You stanky pussy bitch. This shit makes me mad. It makes me mad doing this shit in secret. And and see, I'm not going for some of you this is a this could be me, I'm the empress or this could be a baby mama. And this could be somebody who got a baby with my person and I I don't know. I I think he got a child with her. But I don't have proof. And see what my cards is telling me about this particular karmic She's of a different nationality from me. And from what my card's been saying, this karmic been doing witchcraft and shit. It's three of them that's around my ex that I, I, I feel my card's been telling me that they've been doing witchcraft on me. And that's a Cancer energy, a Sagittarius energy, and a Capricorn. All three of these are feminine energies, okay, that has been trying to slow me down. And Divine Feminine, if this is, you know, resonating with you, you may be experiencing the same thing. Problems with your car. They're trying to slow down your finances. And while y'all, while I'm at it, if y'all want to make a donation to me, go ahead and make a donation. Because I'm sick of these bitches. I'm tired of them. I really am. They don't have it in their heart to get up and do something for themselves. They'd rather lay back and open their funky, stanky, fishy-ass legs. To get some money or have this masculine paying their fucking bills. And, the, and and they're doing this shit because when we was living together, he, he paid my mortgage. But goddamn, my mortgage payment was only $748 a month. It wasn't like he was paying thousands like where it was supposed to be $3,000 a month for my daddy's house. And you bitches start attacking me. But I know why they start attacking me because when he started giving to me, he stopped giving to them. Or he slacked up on giving them. And I know for a fact how he did somebody else. And he cut it off from, from him. He told all of his friends, because this masculine has a lot of people he go to and, you know, tell them tell them to help him. If he don't got the money, he tell his homeboy. See, this is a fake-ass pimp. You ain't getting gotten the money. You had your homeboys and, you know, your friends to, to give you, to give these hoes this money. Yeah, see? I knew it. The moon and the five of cups in reverse. See? Y'all need to leave me the fuck alone. Okay? You doing all of this shit because this masculine and ghosted you? Moved on? Maybe he don't have no regrets from moving on? I damn sure don't have no regrets from moving on because I told him, you around some dark energy. And they're trying to attack me because you with me. This is why I don't want his ass back. You punk ass bitches. You did this shit because you, he didn't want to be with you or he stopped. Don't you realize that's some karmic shit? If you're in a relationship with a karmic, why the fuck would you want to stay there? Do you need this man? This is what they're trying to do because I try to teach women to stand up and be independent. So these are some codependent motherfuckers that won't want me to shut up. They don't want my channel to grow because they're sitting, you know, they sit back and they watch me. They come in the comments and they say shit and I block them. And they paying practitioners. All of this shit has been coming out in my readings and in other readers that I watch. You done seen it too. this ten of cups out here they they it's like there she's planning to have a ten of cups with this Herman energy whoever this Virgo Taurus or Capricorn is and she has no regret for doing this but it don't matter you can do all the spell work and shit you want how better do you feel knowing that that man is laying up in the bed with you because you put witchcraft on him how happy do you feel? You sitting there, you laying there with a smirk on your face, but bitch, he don't want you. If you have to put magic on him to keep him. And then I try to tell his dumb ass when he first moved with me and he shaved his hair and he left hair on my dresser. And I told him, I was like, boy, you better stop doing that. I said, don't you know his women out there will take your hair and do some fucking voodoo with it? 
witchcraft on you? Then his, you know what his reply to that was? Shit, yeah, I want you to put some witchcraft on me. Now, he done said that shit to the wrong motherfucker. Because they really did. And then he turned it around. And he, see, this is where these masculines are dumb. They get so mad at the divine feminine when she starts trying to make them be aware and awaken them. To where they go right back, they stinking ass to the to the fucking enemy. And tell them what divine feminine said. So then these witches, they start attacking. And he don't realize that he's sleeping with the fucking enemy. He thinking that he the man because he got all these women that he can go to and fuck. But he don't know that they're using him. He's the fuck boy. He's somebody that these witches use to, you know, steal his energy because they sleep. These fuck boys end up with the divine feminine. And they got these thoughts that they hang with. They give money to or giving money to them. And they steal the energy. Yeah, they be plotting and planning. So why are these, why are they attacking divine feminine? Why are these witches attacking the divine feminine? Holy Spirit? Look it, look. They want us to be trapped, like in jail. Why are they attacking divine feminine? Why do they want divine feminine to be entrapped? Why do these witches want the divine feminine to be trapped? God damn, see? Public recognition in reverse. They don't want me to be seen. They don't want my channel to grow. You funky heifer. The fuck? Start your own channel. And then if you do got a channel, stop blocking the shit and hiding it from me. Because you know I've been trying to find it. I've been trying to find it. All of y'all, whoever you are. You got a channel out there. And you, you, you go to, you come to my channel under some fake shit. But you got a real channel out there where somebody is pulling cards or doing something. And they was mad because at one time my channel was getting more views than them. And I don't even know them. So they trying to attack my channel. Fucking bitches. Damn. Why don't they want the Divine Feminine to be recognized? The Ace of Cups. See, some of you, they don't want you and don't want me to be recognized on my channel. Some of them, they didn't want me to be recognized as my ex's woman. They didn't like that. Because these they, they were somebody who accepted the fact that he had all of these other feminists. And it's still showing that it's a queen of pentacles who's doing this shit. And she got a, pers got a child with this baby. So she's trying to steal my good karma. But she about to be stuck. Or if this is somebody that your person went back to, started a new love relationship. Yeah, manipulation and abuse of authority. King of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. What is the manipulation? How is this Queen of Pentacles? The Fool. This could be a cult, a group of people. Because it's a King of Wands out here, a Queen of Pentacles out here, a King of Swords. The Hermit is here. Future planning, long term investment, selfish, moving on. Somebody don't want somebody to be free. They want them to be trapped or restricted. This Queen of Pentacles wants this hermit to be strict, restricted to her only. She's doing shit to get him to, to invest in long term with her. She's planning this shit. So she's trying to make Divine Feminine look broke, busted, and disgusted. 
so this masculine won't look at her. I don't give a fuck what you do. Okay? I don't give a fuck. When I was homeless, we still was fucking. Okay? So you can sit here and try to do all of this shit because I know that man loved me. Yeah, he, he yeah, I know he was abused in his childhood. I know he got some childhood wounds. But what you do, Queen of Pentacles reverse, is you or Empress, you take advantage of that. You abuse your authority. You are master manipulator. And then this masculine is dumb because you got other men around you that's manipulating you. You got a king of wands around you, a king of swords around you, two other people that you fucking around with. Yeah, but you're going you're gonna to get karma. Just like you trying to affect my balance, my relationship, my life, my decision making, doing all sorts of shit behind the closed doors and think I don't know. Yeah, I know, motherfucker. You're trying to do magic. You sent the stroke energy to me and I survived. You sent the energy of me being homeless and I survived. You sent the energy of to send chaos and conflict into my family and they still love me. I survived. You're a, 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 a dark, low vibrational, diabolical ass witch. And I rebuke every spirit that you sent to me. I bind it and I return it back to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, I'm going to pull from my wisdoms. Witches wisdom deck. We're going to get some energy on these witches. Since I know for a fact now that this is this is a witch. And it's three of them. Mm -hmm. They may be all fucking each other or they all fucking this masculine. They don't like me because I, I be trying to teach women to have respect for themselves. So I know they don't went on my page and talk shit. Show me the energy of these three witches. What are these witches doing when it comes to divine feminine? Spirit initiation. Awakening in reverse. Secret book of shadows in reverse. So somebody is trying to be initiated into a cult. I see the word immobile out here for somebody. Somebody, you know, they're, they either are not awakened to the shit that they're doing or they, they're not awakened to the karma that they're going to get, the consequences that they're doing in secret. And the secrets is going to come out that they've been doing the shit and you're going to see it because just like they had you homeless and had me homeless, you're going to see it with them. And you're going to be like, damn, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're they, they, are, they losing their shit because they wanted me to lose some shit. The secret is out. they losing their shit because they've been reading in a fucking book of darkness. Tell me more about these energies.
See, they're hiding it. Yeah, secretly, but the fucking secret is gonna come out. Yeah, this is this is a dark person. Magic circle protection. So you need to learn to start protecting your energy. Make a magic circle of protection around you. And see, the thing is, they trying to attack a divine feminine. And even though you may feel the, the attacks, you will survive. Because you're from the good side. You'll survive. These motherfuckers is the one that's going to catch hell. Yeah, ancestors remembering. Yeah, your ancestors want you to remember them. Or your ancestors is remembering you. See, what they do, they want to make you so mad to where you would just get off in a low vibrational energy. And then they, they you know, if you're in a low vibrational energy, then you're, you will react just like them. So the Most High God is saying, don't get in this low vibrational energy. This is what they're trying to do. They want to because if you're low, then they have a better chance at their attacks working. But if you staying in good positive energy um, and not allowing them to get all up in your space, it may, you know, it may, you may have a bump in the road, but just remember, you will survive and you'll get through this. See, whoever this karmic is, she's threatened by you, Divine Feminine. She wanted you to be threatened by her. Maybe I guess she thinks that you know that she's spiritual or something. Only thing I know, bitch, is that you gave him some little purple crystal. And I thank you because you're the reason I got into crystals. I had to find out what that little pretty purple rock meant. Because when I asked his ass, he didn't know. He was just saw somebody gave that to me. So were you the one who gave that to him and he had it in my truck? Clarify this hunter. Somebody like might like to hunt, travel. Somebody's last name may be hunt, hunter. Whoever these energy is, they they like to carry. I guess they like to carry guns and knives out here. Or they, they want you to be threatened, want me to be threatened. But you're protected with the magic circle around you. Yeah, again, eight of swords in reverse. See, like I said, this right here, this is the eight of swords. Upright. Restrictions. Blinding, helpless, but you came out of that. Here it go again in reverse. So whatever they was doing, like I said, it may have been a bump in the road for you, but you are not stuck. You are not in jail. Or if you was in a jail with these people, you could have been feeling entrapped with them and your master. You knew they was around, but you didn't see them. You just felt their presence. You felt their energy. And I did too. Or he's lying, saying he's not dealing with these, or I'm not with nobody, it's just me and you. Well, goddamn, you should have just told me if you didn't want to be, you know, in a relationship. Why did you even talk long term? Why did you say this shit and you know you're dealing with fucking bitches from the country doing witchcraft? All off in the sticks. Going to New Orleans and shit. 
And what they don't know, my ancestors are from New Orleans. And they're going to whoop your ass. And see, the whole thing is, last night I put these cards out, right? And I had laid a reading out last night. And I, when I woke up this morning and I looked at these cards, I had, you know, I was like, why the fuck? Is somebody trying to fuck with my finances? I already know. It's either my ex doing it and he's sleeping with a bitch witch that's doing it. Or with some witches. And he's pillow talking them. He's telling them a bunch of shit about me to make these people hate me. They want me to be living in poverty. See, he was trying to use me. And he used other women to make himself look like he's a fucking king. Giving away money that he can't fucking afford. Taking care of his kids, his ex-baby mama or kid's mama, sending them all money, giving all of these karmic witches money. And then when he came with me, I was living in a house, a full bedroom house. So he, he suggested that he pay the mortgage, which was only $748. I guess that $748 was $700. You know, he could have been giving these, you know, these witches two or three hundred dollars each or seventy five dollars each giving money away. So they felt like when he started helping me and what, what, what he don't think about with your dumb, stupid ass. Where the fuck was you when, when I met you? Where the fuck was you? Where was you, mister? You know where the fuck you were. And you made up, I mean, you made a lie saying you could have been living with your sister. Why weren't you living in your own shit? My father left the house to me, so you can't turn around and say, yeah, your father left. Yeah, so what? He left the house to me and my brother. But you was living with your sister and you wasn't living there. You said you would sleep on the floor from time to time. So it's like when you got with me, you was in this energy. And then when I slept with you, you tried to send that energy to me or you gave it to me. Don't react. These cards, I was going to do a reading with them and I didn't. This is a draining energy. And they want me to react. But Spirit already told me, don't react. Ain't no sense in fighting over a karmic. Somebody has a terminal illness. We have speeding out here. Now they're trying to use healing crystals and they ain't helping. The magician energy, the Virgo again, divine masculine, who's fucking greedy. And they're trying to take from me. Now these are the cards that I pulled last night and I didn't. I took them up, picked them up. I said, I ain't even going to do that reading. I'm going to do something else because it's, it's the energy had, you know, moved on. I, I went to sleep, but then it come up telling me the same thing. That these motherfuckers is doing this shit. They wanted me to be stuck, but I'm not. They want me to lose things. And you know these people are, they're cold-hearted. They, they do stuff like this because they have no heart and nobody loves them. I don't care how much fucking money you got. I don't care if you're driving a brand new car or you in a new luxury apartment or whatever. You still, you still don't have love in your heart. And that's because it's never been shown to you. You could have a parent who's who buying you shit all the time, thinking that's love. That's not fucking love. They hate me because I show love to my kids and my grandkids. And they didn't get that same love from their parents. So they want to attack a divine feminine because you was raised with nurturing and love and care. And whoever these energies are, they wasn't. So they're jealous of that. Tell me more about these energies. Yeah, they want they want the, the collective divine feminine to be blinded, stuck, no stability, want people to ghost me. 
See, everything that they going through, they try to send that energy to me. They stuck because this masculine ghosted them. Where when he goes to me, one time I went to go look for him. After that, I was like, I'm not finna be going to look for nobody. Yeah. And this person don't want change. See, like, if this was, if this is your person you're dealing with, and if they wanted to change and just be with you only and not be a player all of this, this what what these these women that he done laid down with and pillow talked and all of this shit. They don't want to change that. They don't want him to release it. Tell me more. I need to calm down. stuck in the past see they doing this because whoever my person my ex person their ex is stuck in the past when it comes to them um and this masculine could be leaving home and moving forward it's like whoever is he's he's trying to negotiate with these other energies because he wants to move forward. Well, you ain't got to worry about moving forward with me. Because I don't want this shit. I'm done. You let these bitches, you know, detour you, distract you. Throw witchcraft on you and all of that shit. Fuck that. I love myself. And I'm not finna be with no man who's with some desperate ass feminines that's, you know, doing spell work and manipulation to make a man stay with him. Again, they are they're they they mental. They got a fucking problem. If you gotta do manipulation and, and magic to make somebody be with you, that means you got low self-esteem. So give me some descriptions of these karmic feminists. Revenge, see? Yeah, revenge. Five of Swords reverse. A test of faith. Yeah, so this is a test of faith with you, me, Divine Feminine. Have to stand up to these type of energies because they're trying to energetically attack you as a revenge tactic because either, you know, this, this masculine reconciled with some of them or these are somebody he keep going back and forth with or he got them in a circle well this week it'll be you next week it'll be you the week after that it'll be you and he keeps them holding on but divine feminine is like she don't want to be a part of that little witch circle courage out here Yeah, they're, they're persistent when it comes to this masking. So y'all can have him, baby. Okay? Burden, stress, burnt out in reverse, ten of wands. See, whoever these energies are around this masculine, they was burning him out. He was trying to be more than he is, trying to take care of all of these women, possibly trying to pay their bills. Helping them out when they need money. I need your help. I need this. I need that. And then Divine Feminine, when you came in the picture, you know, this is something that this masculine kept hitting. Okay, that he had all these women. When Divine Feminine met him, she didn't see none of these people around him. Where the fuck they come from? 
People coming all from out of the woodworks and shit. Because he didn't ran his fucking mouth telling them about Divine Feminine. Who he met. He looked at Divine Feminine as a star. When he would look at Divine Feminine, his eyes get all glossy and starry-eyed behind Divine Feminine. And people started noticing that shit. Where he probably was once acting like that about them. Every week when he goes see him. Every month. He take turns. Twisted is playing. Keep sweat. They twisted. Or this masculine is twisted over me. And he got people out there mad. Whoever these, these women are, you know, it's things they're doing. And my cards ain't got to tell me. My intuition already told me. The reason why these masculines act funny. For one, their their um, divine feminine energy makes them feel insecure because she's not a slut. She's not evil. She's loving, nurturing, and caring and abundant. So these karmic ladies, you know, gentlemen too, if you in here, be careful with who you lay down with. Because you don't know who they slept with and they may not know that they sleeping with a witch or a warlock. Yeah. Show me the current energy of divine feminine. Showing love to yourself. Your um, self-love. Or they're trying to say, show me the energy about divine feminine. You're showing love and self-care to yourself. You're a queen of, queen of cups in reverse. You're keeping all of your energy to yourself. You know, people may be saying you're selfish, but you didn't gave your love to other people. And you was overcommitted to them. Now, this could be this divine masculine energy. He could be dealing with the selfish-ass queen of cups, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could have him disorganized. Could have him... Um, Overcommitted to taking care of them. He's juggling them. Show me the energy. Current energy. So, currently around you, Divine Feminine, your masculine is disoriented because he's overcommitted to these witches. The time is right to move forward. Wish came true. So, this can mean that you're the new opportunity. Okay, you're the new opportunity, Divine Feminine, and this masculine was moving forward with you or with me. Um, it's like the Eight of Cups. He was satisfied in the relationship with you, satisfied in the relationship with me. He was content. He felt like you was his wish come true. But these, these karmic energies, these other feminines, they won't let go. And that's the crazy thing about it. They feel happy sharing a man. That's so fucking crazy. I don't want to be number one, motherfucker. I want to be the only one. And God made somebody for everybody. So why are you sitting here being greedy, trying to bogart or narcissist somebody that's not for you? Sucking the life out of somebody. Taking the, the, the healing away from somebody. Yep, lack of direction. This is the ox. Chariot in reverse. Hmm. Financial failure. So divine feminine, they, they want us to be in the energy. Some of you may be feeling like your 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 money is failing. That's because of these money, these motherfuckers. Clarify the ten of pentacles in reverse. Yep. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want me to work to improve myself. Okay? They oppose that. They oppose anybody who wants to make their life better or do better for themselves or have good things in their life. 
or to be a, a, a karmic and come from a karmic energy and to a divine energy. That's making yourself better. Okay? That's improving yourself. They don't like that. Wow. Monica, so gone. Yeah, they so gone, all right. Thirst for knowledge. See, yeah, whoever these energies are, they don't like the fact that Divine Feminine, you have a new way of communication. Is masculine. If you are speaking to masculine on a, a, a waking, you know, communication, things where you're, you're, um, using your third eye and you start talking about chakras and crystals and healing this is this is how you improve yourself you improve negative shit around you 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 do better you stay away from things you have a thirst for knowledge you're curious about this type of shit and these karmic energies they have a lack of direction they don't you know they have no success they're not determined to be successful they, they don't take no action to be successful. They just sit around and wait for this masculine to overcommit to him, to them. And this has this masculine stuck. Spiritual path. Self-limiting beliefs. Page of Wands reverse. Tower. Sudden change. See right about now. This masculine, he has inner clarity and so does divine feminine. Okay. You know these people are trying to slow you down. You know that these people are trying to cause destruction in your life. And conflict. Arguments. Chaos. Now this is, if they're not going through it now, this is what will be happening to them. Because when you send out that energy, it, it, it has to have somewhere to go. And it's going right back to center. Yeah, some of them are broken hearted. Some of them are secretly in love with you or secretly in love with your master. And they made the choice to, to do this to break your heart, Divine Feminine. They want you to be broken hearted. So many energies surrounding this masculine, divine feminine, and these karmic energies. Distant horizon in reverse. They didn't want the relationship to go nowhere because this masculine was giving this, this divine feminine gifts and they wanted her to be unhappy. Okay. They was doing a lot of gossiping. Birds of a feather flock together. So these, these are a bunch of three low vibrational diabolical bitches. Yep. Witches. See, they're unhappy with their life. Their life ain't going nowhere. So they trying to project this shit to divine feminine. And be careful. Somebody could be accepting a gift. And that gift could have something attached to it. Yeah, to keep you from getting money. So this masculine could have gave you some sort of gift. Brought something in your home. You the main female. This is why they the main female, they don't want you to be happy. They don't want me to be happy. They want me to be unhappy. See, these people, they, they, they try to dim my light. They mad at the fact that people are drawn to me. Then I'm always giving out, you know, motivational talks to people to help them get over there. You know, if they're going through a tough, difficult time, these people don't like that shit. They don't like my gift. Okay. And they know that this gift is, is, is a great fortune, that this gift is going to bring me a great fortune. So they trying to stop it. And for some of you, this is in me, this is going on right now. Trying to keep me trapped in a fucking bird cage. Because they a bunch of bird brains. Bird brains in a fucking bird cage trying to keep divine feminine trapped. 
Some of you, this person could be older than you or older than your person by six years. Your person could be six years older than them. Or you could be six years older than your person. Toil and labor. So it's it's like divine feminine. You were the you when you was in a relationship with your person. You was the main person putting toil and labor in the relationship. Okay, you was the main person you know putting toil and labor in yourself. And this is making other people unhappy. Could be dealing with the Leo for some of you. Yeah, this, this, this makes me mad. It's triggering me. I ain't even gonna sit here in front. This shit is triggering. Because I knew this already. See, it's all about a relationship. And the relationship didn't go nowhere because divine feminine is gifted and this masculine is around a lot of dark bitches. And with these birds in reverse, they didn't like the fact that Either Divine Masculine was bragging about Divine Feminine. He was gossiping about Divine Feminine. He then went and told this Divine, these karmic people that Divine Feminine is gifted and she have a, you know, that her, her gift is going to bring her money. And this made these karmic bitches mad. Yeah, it made them unhappy. And they unhappy that this Masculine, you know, claimed Divine Feminine as his main female. But Divine Feminine, like I said, don't want to be the main female. She want to be the only female. So they trying to call you greedy and selfish because you don't want a cheater. That's so fucking stupid. Stupid. Look at this shit. Chaos and conflict. Third parties. And Divine Feminine ain't saying shit. She quiet. Somebody, this masculine may have came with some fake ass apology to you, Divine Feminine. He got a fucking two-piece chicken meal with these two chicken heads or two ducks or whatever you want to call them. Two or three, however many it is. He trying to find Divine Feminine and they trying to find him. But he can't get to where Divine Feminine is because Divine Feminine has made it through that maze. She done made it to the point in that maze where she's winning. And they trying to get where she's at. So they try to attack her energetically. Okay, because Divine Feminine is the fucking star. And this masculine was spending a whole too much time with Divine Feminine to where these karmics got mad. So then this karmic, she, one of them traveled. She don't even live in the same state as you, Divine Feminine. She came back because she was broken hearted over this old ass fucking man. Concerned. Now she's concerned. Yeah. Why are they concerned? Why are they concerned? What are they concerned about? See? Occupation. Your job. Your skills. You putting work into yourself. Working on yourself. They're concerned about that because they know if they're doing some shit to you and if you're working on yourself, awakening and, and, and becoming, you know, aware of all of this dark shit that they're doing, they know the shit going to come back to them. To them, they family, someone they love is going back. Yeah. Your person may have a lot of money. He may be the wealthy man. He may work with a lot of money. But the, the money that he do, it ain't for a real job. It's some dark shit. Yeah, and he having sex with him with the lovers out here. Yep. Some of these are hoes. 
Look, their occupation is lovers. So this is these are hoes. Okay. Tell me more about these hoes in this house. It's some hoes in this house. It's some hoes in this house. Tell me about these hoes. He made a choice. These hoes may be paying him. They may be pimping him. He made that choice to be with these hoes. Or these. this is the choice that these hoes did. They made the choice to be a hoe. And they mad at Divine Feminine. Why are they mad at Divine Feminine? Bad thoughts. Now this can mean they, they have a negative thoughts about you, Divine Feminine. They can be throwing evil eye at you. Um, they mad at Divine Feminine because maybe this masculine ain't thinking about them no more. Maybe this masculine made a choice to stop thinking about these karmics or stop being around them. See, they was trying to paint a, a, a negative picture about Divine Feminine. But they, the, the negative picture is them. Somebody's name may start with the W. Last name, first or middle. Or M. I hear Mary Williams. Here's this main man. Clarify this main man. Yeah, so this main man, you know, he had a, a choice. For some of you, it's even this masculine's family. For some of you, it's your family. Okay? Take it where it resonates. It's different for everybody that's doing this motherfucking spell work, manipulation and shit that's not um, working. Now, this card, this means a lot. I got to get the book to tell you what this card means. A warned high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in competition. See? Yeah. This card, these, these are energies that's in competition. High tempered energies. People who, who likes a lot of chaos and conflict and want strife to be in your life. Mm -hmm. Arguments and quarrels. Quarrels. Quarrels are my patent. I am not always a villain, but I can be found in a gym or a lusty bed. Yeah, like I said, these are hoes. These are hoes that's doing that to a divine feminine. Because divine feminine makes them feel inferior to themselves. And they're trying to keep this masculine from going down the right pathway by keeping him trapped. And divine feminine, she's looking at these motherfucking snakes. Look at all of these fucking fruit on this tree that this masculine is trying to bite at. Divine Feminine knows. Official person. Your person could be in the military, law enforcement, Coast Guard. Um, they don't want shit to be over. See? Yeah. With a little community, this is this is a this is a masculine. He's in a cult or something. He's in a cult with with all of these dark witches. Yep. The community out here, yeah, this is a cult, and they sick and not telling you. The journey. Treating cold, strength. Some of these people have been messing with this divine masculine since 2017, 2015, 2010, 2004. <coughs> Job loss, hopeless. See, they want the collective to be feeling hopeless. They want you to be having money problems. 
homeless, having to stay with your family. But this is the energy they're calling to themselves, Divine Feminine. They didn't want this masculine to, to settle down with you. See, let's cover her titty up because she don't cover herself. This is somebody who, who's a hoe. Okay, but she ain't saying nothing that she doing. Clarify this ex. Now, if your person got many exes, it's all of them doing. And they're going to get karma. Yeah, and the karma is they losing their jobs. If they had a job, they about to lose that. And I claim that for them. Whoever is sending the energy of me losing my stability, I return that energy right back to them. They will lose their job. They will have money problems because I'm not doing anything to them. I'm innocent. And they're doing it out of malice and jealousy. So I'm asking you, Archangel Michael, to please go take care of these karmic energies. They ain't getting the message. Some of them are strippers. Somebody is a stripper. See, he cut them off. Yeah. And it's something they, it ain't no coming back from. And the same thing Divine Feminine is saying, this is something you can't come back from. They can't come back from. Okay? They're going to be, you know, they're going to suffer a lot for doing this. Yeah. Look at that. See? They're dark. Cut their ass off. If you haven't, cut their ass off. Because they ain't going to change. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Mm. See, this is somebody's masculine. You may call him your divine masculine. He may be your karmic masculine. But he's he's behind all of this shit. Yeah. He's dark, too. I will never go back around this person. This is why I've been avoiding him. Because I know he's around these dark, dark, diabolical feminine. These Some of them could be a baby mama. Some of them could have a child that's 18 that's doing some shit. Okay? They don't want some shit to end. Secretly. Mm-hmm. New beginnings. Could be a pregnancy out here. One of them could be pregnant. Clarify these, this pregnancy. Something with some DNA papers. Clarify the DNA papers. Or for some of you, this could be some sort of birth certificate. It could be some sort of letter. A message. Somebody may be about to receive a message that they about to get. Have some sort of new beginning. Fusing poverty coming out. You're about to receive some sort of letter or message that's going to be telling you that they're bringing you out of poverty. That's the energy of somebody being unloyal. This could be a narcissist. Somebody will tell you they want to go the direction you're going, but they don't. They want to go where you go, but they don't. Somebody's about to receive some sort of letter. So show me the current energy surrounding the karmic energies that's trying to attack the divine thing. getting he's getting advice from these people okay he stopped you know being intimate with them queen of wands energy out here getting it karma because she got caught trying to be sneaky she's having a fucking tower mom yeah she took some advice from somebody and whoever this energy is 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 chariot energy out here um, they cars is breaking down. They try to send that energy to you. 
or for things to where you not able to get your car registered. They're trying to fuck with your finances. And if anybody wants to donate to my channel, I accept all donations because these motherfuckers is trying to, you know, um, fuck with me because some shit is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. But I see you, Divine Feminine. You're protected. You connect with your crystal ball. Mm -hmm. And things is coming to an end. See, now things is coming to an end for them. Now, whoever they was trying to get advice from or they're trying to get advice from somebody right now. Because whatever they're trying to send to you is coming back to them. Some things is coming to an end for them. They having all sorts of tower moments. Some of them, you know, is experiencing the unexpected. Some of them is experiencing a massive change. Some of them is, is experiencing destruction and chaos, upheaval. Some of them, if they may be married, they going through a divorce or a loss of a loved one. They, you know, they could be suffering from a financial failure, health problems. This is the energy that they was trying to send to you. And now you, Divine Feminine, are protecting yourself and they having a fucking tower moment. And see, they coming back to try to see if the shit is working. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who pretends like they got your back, but they don't. been doing spell work on your finances on your talent because you're an expert and you you have accomplishments and they want to slow you down and they do the shit and they come back either they're they're sending this masculine to do this shit and this masculine is coming back around you to see if the shit is working keep this motherfucker away from you okay keep him out of your energy if you see him don't talk to him don't speak to him leave him the fuck alone Okay, because this is somebody who's just, you know, they're they're energetically doing some shit, some dark shit. Diabolical. Okay. I, I I've learned I knew it had something to do with Diablo, who's the devil, but now I know for sure. I had to look that word up. These are some dark, some dark, somebody is large. Uh a diabolical feminine. And they're using this masculine. And um he either fucking with them to get them to go against Divine Feminine because Divine Feminine don't want to accept it. That's the crazy thing when men do shit like this because you don't want to, you know, um, be in a third party situation. They get so mad that they think that they all that to where you supposed to accept they bullshit. So when you don't, they want shit to come to an end. They want you to be trapped and stuck because you don't want to be a third party. Or you ghosting them. Or they'll ghost you because you don't want to be a part of third party. Queen of Pentacles in, in reverse again. Okay, there she go again. Yeah. they This could represent... Um, they could be losing their, their financial material shit. Say they got a nice car. They ain't going to be able to, to, to make the payments on that motherfucker and that insurance. Because they didn't went and got some experience, expensive ass car. The insurance is high on that motherfucker. And um, the, the the car payments is high. So they going to lose that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them is experiencing this. That's why this masculine, he could be losing money. Because he's trying to buy all of these women cars and take, take care of them. And they steady doing magic. Submission. Trying to get him this masculine to submit. See, he's taking all of them to bed and he could be giving them something, you know, or they giving him something to submit to him. They could be giving him some sort of drug or something. So I'm finna, let me clear these up. And then I'm going to go to my other deck. Yeah, I didn't expect for this. Well, I did expect for this reading to be long. Because I'm sick of this shit. Like, God damn. Why? Why? Why the fuck are you doing this? It just don't make sense. You that mad? That you attack a woman? 
because she's doing something that you you have the ability to do that but you won't because you're codependent you want a divine feminine to be codependent you don't want to stop you don't want to take care of yourself you don't want to pay your own bills you don't want to pay your own rent so you got this masculine and doing it and you're mad at the divine feminine because she pay her own shit This is, these are just some low vibrational ass feminine. So now the shit they going through, they trying to get, get advice. Because they have tower moments. And Divine Feminine is not threatened by them. They're threatened by Divine Feminine's spiritual gifts. Okay, that's what they're, they're jealous of. They're jealous of, of you being a divine feminine. So now I'm just going to go to my karmic cards. We're going to pull out some of the nasty, diabolical, low vibrational energies that some of these karmic energies are carrying. They falling apart too. Yep, these karmic energies are falling apart. So I'm going to my junky karmic deck and see what we can pull out of here. Show me more about these karmic energies that's attacking the divine feminine. Holy Spirit, let me pull the cards that's showing the energy of these karmic feminines when it comes to divine feminine. Wow. First card. Some people hate them. Mm. We have a Libra energy. You could be Libra or one of these karmic energies could be a Libra. But people hate them. Okay? Some people. Somebody was forced into a marriage for money. So some of you, your masculine, he may have secretly married this one of these karmic energies because they got money. Okay, and if this is a masculine who who uh, does low vibrational things for a karmic, something about an apartment. If he, you know, he could have been forced into a marriage with this karmic. And um, they could live in an apartment together. She could have an apartment. You could live in an apartment. Somebody is in an apartment. We know that. People probably in the apartment hate them. Played them. So somebody, a Libra, played somebody. A tactic for revenge. So I ask, why is these people doing this? So... So I'm I'm getting that uh like in my situation when I first got with my ex back in the day and I was you know my father had uh passed away and that's a whole nother story but I knew that I'm an heiress okay and my masculine was so sweet and kind I I, I found out later that he was love bombing. But I was going to buy him a car, you know. And so, apparently, he went running his mouth to these karmics. And, you know, telling them the things that I said I was going to do. Yeah, I did tell him I was going to get him a car. Because he was driving this little raggedy ass bucket. And I, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get you a car. 
I'm going to just pull up. It's going to have a bow on it. And I really wanted to do that because he was so sweet. He was the love of my life. I just I just knew he loved me the same. But then when, when I got uh, basically manipulated, um, they did some shit to me to where my brother did some stuff. So I didn't get the car. Now, what I feel like when, when this masculine, when I said that, this a karmic energy that he was around who's, you know, financially, materialistically wealthy, started, you know, in. she That was her tactic for revenge. And she forced this ma masculine into money because I said what I was going to do for him. But the crazy thing is, this masculine was sleeping in his car on the streets. And where was these other karmic energies? Why they didn't, didn't, you know, help him or invite him in? Why? But I did. And then after, you know, he got with me, he started dressing better. He wasn't looking bummy. And they got jealous. Yeah. I bought him clothes. You know, shoes. Started getting him, him you know, he was wearing these tiny ass drawers. And I'm not trying to be funny. Wearing tiny ass drawers. I taught him how to dress. You know, and it's like these karmic energies, once they seen how good he started looking when Divine Feminine came this. See, he was going busted and bummy, and he's right back in that same energy, not putting giving himself no love, not showing himself love, not buying nothing for him, wearing the same clothes that he'd been wearing for fucking eight years. Wearing the same fucking shit. Ain't bought nothing new because he's too busy trying to take care of other people. And I spoke the truth to him. Yeah, that they was playing him. And I was madly in love with him. I'm not going to lie. And he he fell madly in love with somebody, with some Libra or Libra energy that played him. He took risks. <laughs> yeah, this divine masculine. <coughs> a snake haired beast Medusa somebody is from the alphabet team yeah they was they started celebrating mm -hmm. they were celebrating with this masculine and they played them or they saw this masculine, you know, heard about him celebrating with Divine Feminine. And this made them want to, you know, attack the Divine Feminine. Marry. And he played him. They played him. He married him. Mm-hmm. Now this masculine is having nightmares. There's no trust. Now they miss your Divine Feminine sexual energy. Mm-hmm. This masculine told you that you and him wasn't on the same page because he 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 was trying to be single. He was trying to be, you know, he wasn't trying to be in a relationship. But when he first came in, he talked all that bullshit. We in love. I'm in it for long term. You know, I'm making a long term investment. You ain't the only one he didn't told that to. He didn't told the other ones that. And that's because this masculine grew up poor. Mm-hmm. This is why these these females were so easy to manipulate him. Yeah. You would be texting this masculine and he wouldn't respond to you. More blessings of abundance. They didn't want you to have that. Okay. Keeping a baby out of spite. Now these these people are these karmics are being haunted by your ancestors. This masculine he grew up poor, but he looked down on others. He forgot where he came from. Pisces energy, adultery. Yeah, see, he married and committing adultery, sleeping with all these people. Now he's losing money, feeling like a fucking clown. And he's not pleased. 
-hmm. Yeah, he took some vows with the karmic. If this is resonating with you, I'm asking you to hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, this is a deceptive person. Somebody did something with a love potion. To take away divine feminine's power. So this masculine recently possibly had uh, a, a recent breakup with them. And like I said earlier, there's no com no coming back. It was a sharp ending. Something about a light bulb. And now they're they're more interesting, interested in what, what the divine feminine is doing. And this makes them off balance. Mm -hmm. This masculine, you know, he was just coming in for a good time and not a long time. Somebody, something about the airport. Somebody could be meeting somebody. Yeah, they coming in on a plane, coming in with the airport. And this masculine probably be showering them with gifts. When they come in and he's losing money, he's a dumbass motherfucker. Yeah, this is some cult shit. Yeah. Somebody got the receipts, some of the gifts that the masculine been having one night stands with him and shit. Somebody got the receipts. They may be some down south. They may, whoever this karmic energy is, They that means if they got the receipts, <laughs> Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit being humorous. It just said, if these karmics show you the receipts that they didn't they didn't spend money on this masculine and they losing money, somebody down south, they're paying for this masculine. So this masculine may be a hoe. This masculine may be selling his body. He's He could be a uh, male escort. Have a one night stand. So somebody is paying him for his dick. And he quickly cut it off. Yeah. Because for some reason he saw no way out. He was being mentally controlled. By deception. Where he could have loved somebody. Love Divine Feminine. And there was some, some motives and manipulation out here. They was teaching this masculine, you know, how to do voodoo and shit. At the same time, they probably been putting straps on for this masculine. Or he may be, you know, um, into anal sex. He may be bisexual. Now he could be having suicidal thoughts because of the toxic energies that surround him. Something to do with Facebook. Somebody gonna confess some shit on Facebook. Yeah, somebody tried to lie on you, Divine Feminine. Now they probably gonna confess or something is gonna be confessed about them lying on you. A dark, evil witch. She's a drama queen. That's in their feelings. Behind some sort of wedding. And how this masculine, how he, he, he mistreated you for somebody he didn't even have a connection with. It just come out that these were nothing but vultures. Somebody rides a motorcycle. Now this masculine, he's mentally aware that these people were doing nothing but using him. Mm -hmm. He had the bisexual tendencies. Divine partner ghosted the karmic. Yeah, he ghosted him. This masculine has a, a, sex, a sex demon, an incubus. And they know that he's stalking you, divine feminine. And they know Divine Feminine don't need money. And people not talking about Divine Feminine. But these karmics are, are obsessed with the Divine Feminine. They moon magic ain't working. Lusting energy with friends with benefits. 
They heartbroken. Yeah, they suffer. They feeling stabbed in the back or this masculine is heartbroken and feeling stabbed in the back. But remember, Divine Feminine, you felt stabbed in the back and your heart was broken. But everything they sent to you is going right back to them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because they've been sending spiritual attacks to you. And they thought it was more than okay for them to keep doing this shit. And they don't even know no specific details about you. They don't know shit about you. They just, you know, mad at you, Divine Feminine. And they sabotage the relationship between you and this masculine. Somebody could have been saying they was pregnant. Because he, you know, um, now he don't want to be a player no more. Everything is backfiring and all. Yeah. See, he was dealing with a bunch of dig dizzy, um, karmic feminines. And he was still fucking them because he didn't want to pay child support. Some of them he was living with. Somebody he was living with, he could have been living with all of them. Like I said, you get a week, they get a week, he get a week. You know, because he's dealing with a bunch of karmic feminines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He could have a daughter, or you could have a daughter with this masculine. Somebody's name may start with the E. I hear Evelyn. E, Eve. The ex from the past. Taurus energy. Somebody has a black cat. Yeah, it was no love. It was sex only. Yeah. And now there's some sort of war going on. And this could be a war with you and them, Divine Feminine. Hotel stays, gossiping about them. Somebody's sister could be involved. They don't work hard. Somebody could be a fire sign. They crying. The Most High God is watching what they do. They're not getting away with shit. Okay. Some of you, this has something to do with your family or your person's family. They're full of darkness. And you will see them get their karma. Okay. You're going to see them. You're going to witness them getting their karma. They send some energy to you. And it's coming back to them. And they're going to spiritual jail. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Why you loving on yourself? they going to spiritual jail. Some fake ass friends, this masculine think these people they friends, but he, you know, it's a long term relationship with some of these fake friends. Or like I said, he told you I'm in it for a long time. This masculine, like I said, he could be gay for pay, could be into necromancy, could be significant. Virgo energy out here. Something about the number seven. Seven you. You for unprotected sex. They getting the, they're suffering the the, the, the uh, consequences consequences for the mirror magic, and now they're getting they're getting um, scaly skin. See, they was doing something in the mirror. Maybe divine feminine. Maybe you have been feeling something. You know, um, this is because somebody you know was doing some sort of mirror magic on you. Somebody is even looking in the mirror at a strip club. Some of them are strippers. I said that beginning. They strippers. They hoes. Yeah. They paid an ex assassin to try to do something to you. And they getting exposed for that shit. Yeah, this is why if whoever the karmic energy, if you look at her or you, you can see her, Divine Feminine, if you got her on your Facebook or if you know her in person, you she's going to expose herself. Whoever she is, her face is breaking out. Okay? For some of you. One of them. She probably allergic to some wine she drank. It has some sort of fruit. <laughs> a fruit that she didn't know that she was that she was uh allergic to. And she sent some shit to you. Yeah. Credit card bills. This mask has been paying the, the credit card bills for these karmics. They mortgage, they rent, doing a lot of shit. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. All because he they was giving him attention. See, what he didn't know, they was just using him. They don't give a fuck about him. And people was talking about this master because people was using him. Mm-hmm. Practicing magic and voodoo, people talking about that too. This masculine may be driving for Uber right now. 
Be honest with yourself. For some of you, it's an air sign. Something to do with some sort of real estate. And they not happy. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's karmic ex or your person's karmic ex. Take it where it resonates. Somebody is into the same sex. They got sex, bisexual tendencies. And they somebody is into drag queens. Okay. The number one. You may be showing love to yourself now. Too focused on money. This is why this person is, is always focused on money. Because they trying to take care of too many individuals. Yeah. And they not happy. But this is a can of worms they opened up for their damn self. They did it to their self. Yep, see? See? What did I say? This is somebody, he's materialistic, but he fucking broke. And he got a fucking porn addiction. Mm-hmm. Listen to the wrong people. Some of them listen to a child, taking advice from a fucking child. Someone under 21, they trying to take advice from. And this is why you and them are not on the same page. And you escape this energy, Divine Feminine. And this person is angry, but they can't be mad at you. Because they're angry at a tarot reader they listened to who was a false reader. That left you depressed. A water sign. This person may smoke Swisher Sweets. And you may have withdrew your energy from them. Yeah. A lot of gossip. Plotting and planning on a spiritual warrior. And you ain't even thinking about these people and they're trying to attack you, Divine Feminine. Mm hmm. You ain't thinking about them. They're under investigating or they've been, they've been trying to investigate you. Here's this karmic reader again and came out. So he could be taking advice. From his karmic reader. He could be partying with her. She's jealous of divine feminine. I just did a, a, a reading yesterday. About a, a karmic reader. So you can check that reading out. Yeah. Selling sex for quick money. Punishment. Wow. A false reader. Yeah. Somebody... Some of these these people, Divine Feminine, if you read cards, some of these, these feminines are trying to read cards. Or they're saying you're a false reader. But just know that you're protected. If you have social media, they're watching your social media. It could be somebody's mother could be involved. Their whole family is involved. It's a fucking cult. Okay? And now they're going through a lot of chaos because they tried to send that shit to you. They're a hideous e image of e evil. A bitter ex. Okay, and her family. Now they having nightmares and shit. Yep. And they're awakening to the reason why they having these nightmares. Because they was trying to abuse you in the spiritual world. And this person can't take no for an answer. They ask the Holy Spirit for the favor. Or they asking their ancestors or your ancestors. Or blocking them. They ain't getting that favor. Whatever the favor was, it was something to bring harm to a divine feminine. Yep. Something about the March of um, the month of March, May. Somebody drinks wine. They went back to a karmic ex. This karmic ex is a succubus. Yeah. High priestess or high priestess, divine feminine. Okay, we have the energy of an Aries out here. karmic masculine yeah so I can keep going on and on divine feminine now they broken hearted in solitude yeah because shit is happening to them mm -hmm. something about somebody next door to you divine feminine wow and then it showed a neighbor your neighbor next door could be doing some shit or your neighbor next door may have some sacred knowledge 
in a DNA or your neighbor next door could be spiritual and they could have told you some of the same things that I'm telling you. Somebody wears chronic socks. Somebody is hoping that you come back after they tried to poison you. They could have tried to poison you in August. Somebody could have tried to poison your, your, your relationship. Some sort of low vibrational energies. Immortal out here. Somebody may think they can't be hurt. They can't be touched. This energy is stuck up. Something about a lawsuit. You may have to sue these people. Because they exposed themselves. Because they was wearing a false mask. Mm -hmm. See, these are these are holes that this mask one got in different area codes. They not all from the same place. They in different area codes, different cities, different states. Mm-hmm. Because he's a fucking warlock. Yeah. Wow. A male escort. See? Yeah. So these are, these are, basically, I don't need to go further. No further. This masculine is a hoe. And these feminines that's attacking you, divine feminine, are the women that he's sleeping with. Okay? And they're jealous of you because they're hoes. They low vibrational. And you're high vibrational. And you keep to yourself. And this is why they're attacking you. So if this reading resonated with you, then go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and hit that thumbs up button. If you like this reading, hit that thumbs up or get in the comments and tell me what these karmic-ass clowns been doing. See you in the next reading. Peace out.